What's up, my DoorDash gang? What's up, my Grubhub gang? This is your boy, Kingfish, a.k.a. Big Al, coming at you with another video. What's up, crew? What's up, team? You know what the day is. It's Saturday, guy. This is I don't give a damn Saturday, guy, because I ain't giving a damn today. You feel me? Ha-ha! <laughs> All right, guys. So I was going to share my pops with you guys. Want y'all look at this young man right here? This is my father. Tell you, boy, you got some strong genes, boy. Here's the rest of my family. That's my pops, my brothers, my sisters, my stepmom. Look how strong them genes is, boy. <laughs> Tell you, man, he my twin. That's what we call each other, twin. Now, granted, same dad, different mom, and it's and it's jeans are so strong that my brother and sister still look like me. well I look like them but well, I'm the oldest so it doesn't matter but that's what I'm talking about guys when I first met my pops man I was like oh my god that you my dad you sure enough my dad <laughs> it wasn't no denying but I knew from an early age that he was my father I just didn't believe it because you know, I was named after my sister and them father who my mother was married to, so I'm thinking that's my dad. But my mom and my dad told me that I wasn't when I was a little kid. I was too young to understand, but when they told me, I didn't care. I mean, like, my name was Alan King. My father's name is George. And um, I ain't gonna put his last name out there because, you know, people be trying to do research and stuff like that. And that's, you know, I don't wanna put too much personal information out there. But yeah, man. So, I met my pops when I was 32. I knew about him ever since I was like maybe five or six. But I was too young to understand what they was trying to say. And I really didn't care because at that age, what you, you, you ain't trying to hear that. My sister and them had was having fun with their pops, with well, my pops. And I was named after them, so that was my father. And I was wondering why he was so light <laughs> when I was so dark. But my mom was dark, so I didn't care. You know what I mean? But I should have known something because my pops was uh, Alan King, my, my father. He was 6'2", six, 6'3". Six, I always wanted that height. You know what I mean? My father 5'7", five, 5'8". Five, <laughs> so I know I got my looks and my height, my height from. So enough about that, guys. I know y'all don't give a damn about that. But I want to share that with you guys. Hey, Justin. <laughs> hey, man. I don't have a white flag. Hold on. Throwing in a white flag, Jason. Justin. Throwing in a white flag. I'm almost at $200, man. I'm not going to beat you this week. But next week is on, baby. I'm going to put my hat on tomorrow, man. When I show you how much I made. I know you probably say, yeah, he lying. Man, when I tell you... I. Dog, I barely scratched the surface. But it's on and popping. You just motivated me, man. You know, you seen the video when I was making 800 and something dollars a week. I was I was doing that part-time. But the thing, I was going in later. So I had a chance to get lunch, breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Now I'm just getting a little bit of breakfast, a little bit of lunch. But I'm getting all the breakfast, I'm just getting a little bit of lunch. I'm not getting no dinner because I'm at work. You know? But you, you don't woke up the beast, man, like MGK, man. You don't woke up the beast, man. I'm going to try to break your back next week, man. Since I've been work, going in at um, 2 o'clock, I've only been, only been averaging about maybe $30 a day. But now I'm going to push that up. I'm going to elevate that a little bit. I got some bills I need to take care of. Yeah, guys, you know I'm on my way to the double D. I know y'all ain't giving a damn because I ain't giving a damn either because today, Saturday, I don't give a damn Saturday, man. I'm getting somebody today. I told you guys, I'm like an alligator in a little small pond of water. I'm trying to get anything that walk across or get in this pond. Right now, the sun ain't giving a damn that I can't see the red light. I got to wait. It's all good, guys. Everything is well. Big Bertha had the hiccups yesterday, but I, I, I fixed it. I fixed it. I put some good, good gas in there. I don't use regular, I use premium. 
I used an 89 or 90, what is it, 91, I think it is. I put some 93 in there yesterday, boy. She perked right up. So I think I got to change my gas, but that gas too high, man. I'm gonna become an old full stripper in the future. Damn, man, I went there for almost $4. I was like, oh my gee. But I know that's what she was calling for, man. You know? I know she wanted some of that good stuff. She's an alcoholic. You know? I gave her some, that special, that special cognac yesterday, boy. I gave her some of that 93. Yeah, she perked up, boy. I got beside a Corvette, boy. She... I hit the gas a little bit. She was like, ooh. I was like, whoa, calm down, girl. <laughs> yes, sir. Baby girl was getting it yesterday, man. There we go. I'm so happy, man. It's, it's Saturday. First, I want to thank God for giving, letting me wake up this morning. I'm talking to my YouTube family. Hope everybody is well. Alyssa, what's up? Malachi, how y'all doing? Infinity time, infinity. Uh, round about October the fifth, October the sixth, you're gonna be receiving another package for um, Alyssa. I want to get her something where she can put her makeup in a case, where she can open it up and there's a, you know, it's, it's some makeup in there and a mirror and all that. So that's phase two. Now I hope Tower's at work. Tower, please, Lord, please let Tower be at work today. I didn't get no coffee yesterday, guys. I was running all morning. I forgot I ain't had no coffee. I was dreaming about a hot cup of coffee all night last night. I woke up in cold sweat, man. I ain't lying. I had to go in there and drink some of my, um, I drank my last um, caramel frozen frappe. Yep, last night, man. I sipped it slow, too. Because <laughs> that was the last one. You know, I had a pack of 20, what is it, 48? I demolished it. No, it was a pack of 24 that the job gave out. 12 in a box. I demolished that junk, man. Two days, I think I was left with like seven. My wife said, boy, this don't make no sense. So she had to hire some. I was crushing the thing two, three days a day. Plus on top of my hot coffee. Yeah, boy, I had me some cold shoulder yesterday, man. I had to get some chocolate drop. So I'm meeting Tim and Dollar on the 25th. Tim got to go back for chemotherapy. And uh, I got to make sure they get their money. I've been holding on for this check for a long time. Guys, I'm so forgetful. I'm so forgetful, guys. Yes, I is. Oh. Yeah, boy. That's how we doing it. I see you, my man. My man going to the gate. Uh, what is it? Gate of Dark Side? It ain't open this way. I might have me some gator while the wife gone. I know she probably said, I don't give a damn if you eating gator or not. I'm not eating it. Boy, I pissed them off one time. I went to get some wings. I said, can I have some sweaty molded alligator back split down the middle with the spine showing? That man said, get the hell out of here with all that. <laughs> I said, y'all ain't got no sweaty alligator feet, feet, foot, whatever. Yeah, feet, I said. I'm like, man, get out of here, man. What you gonna order? I said, I'm trying to order. He said, you acting retarded. I wish it would have been said. I, I don't give a damn if I'm acting retarded. Retarded people can't can act too. All right, guys, I'll be right back. I'm gonna get this coffee. All right, guys, I'm back, man. Tower was dead today. God is good all the time. Yeah, man, they didn't have no French vanilla. They didn't have my French vanilla. So the girl said, uh, we out of French vanilla. I'm like, I don't give a damn if y'all out of French vanilla. Give me that fake stuff. All right, guys. So if you ever go to Dunkin' Donut and they're out of the French vanilla um, swirl, what they do is they take the the, the um, diet French vanilla and 
Mix it with the caramel swirl. Tastes the same, guys. Tastes the same. Tyra did her thing, man. I see what her secret is. See, Tyra put love in her coffee, guys. She put love in her coffee. What I mean by that, I watch everybody make my coffee, right? Tara is the only one that stirs it real slow. And that's why it's so good because she make the vanilla mix all the way up. Where everybody else just put it in a cup, boom, boom. And what's it called? She, I watch her. I watched her. And she did it for a long time. And she did it slow. You know what I mean, guys? So that's why it takes so balanced because she makes sure it all mixed in. I got your secret, Tyra. I got your secret. I watch it this time, girl. That's right. All right, guys. We're going to Chick-fil-A. Like I said, the wifey out of town. I just talked to her. She on her way to take a test. And what not. Well, she taking a test. Your boy going to get this money. Ah, yeah. That's good right there. Mm. Best coffee maker in the world. I had to say that, guys. She can do her thing. Even when they don't have what you want, she make it good. Mm. Y'all think I'm playing, man. Ooh, that son ain't no joke. Guys, Justin kicked my butt yesterday. I think he said he did 120. We'll go do a U turn. Oh. Man, I don't know. When the last time I did a 120? Justin out there making that Bacari money. I should have got some gas. I'll get some later. But yeah, guys, thanks for tuning in and whatnot. My tip for the day, guys. I don't have a tip. Now I'm, I'm gonna come up with something, guys. I like to get my tip up front. Ooh, girl, don't you go in the dark? Somebody might hit you. I'm gonna give y'all my tip, guys. Let me pull. I did have a tip. I said I was gonna talk to y'all about something. Come on. Did you get the hell out the way? Man. I'm like a beach bum. Trying to back Big Bertha up. He trying to style and look pretty for somebody. Spectrum in the house. All right, guys, we at Chick fil A. We down here on Fowler. Now, whether we get something, remain to be seen. But yeah, man. What was my tip? I said I was going to do a tip today. Damn. Ah. Uh, what was my tip? I'm drawing a blank right now, guys. But I did say I was going to talk to y'all about something. I want to get my tip up front for my man. Who request requested because, you know, he don't want to watch 30 minutes to get a tip. <laughs> he like watching the video, but if it's a tip or message in there, he want me to put it up front so, you know, he can get it, dash, and, and then come back and watch the video later. I'm going to think about it before I hit that 15-minute mark. Uh, what did I say I was going to talk about? Uh, I talked about utensils. Oh, putting yourself in the right zone, guys. Putting yourself in the right zone. Uh... That's what I want to talk to you guys about. Uh, like um, my man Justin said, he worked a zone with five, six different um, area codes, and he was able to make, you know, uh, $120, which is good money. But guys, it's, it's been able to set yourself up. And I know I spoke on a little bit the other day, but you got to make sure. See, I'm in the right zone today. All right, Saturday I work Temple Terrace, and I don't mind saying that. On Saturday, Temple Terrace has a lot of opportunity. 
And what I mean by opportunity is, man, we got the college kids that, you know, some don't get around on, able to get around on, you know, the weekdays because the bus not running. Uh, it might be running, but it's not running in certain areas. But I do good on Saturday and temperatures, and I'm running all day. So today I'm looking to make almost, I, I guess, if I, if I stay busy and, you know, I probably can do about 120, 130, probably 150. The most I made in temperatures on the Saturday um, is like 180 because I ran. I'm running. I'm running today because when the wifey with me, she sits in the car while I go in and take care of things. Well, it get hot. It get hot in the car, so sometimes we had to go home, cool off, and stuff like that. Cause my AC is not working yet. I got to buy a piece. I got two AC units in this car, so it's a six thousand six thousand dollar unit to six thousand dollars to complete replace the whole unit. A lot of people say you might as well get another car, use that money for a down payment. But man, Big Bertha, we've been together for a long time, guys. I gotta take care of my boo, so I'm buying piece by piece. Now. Buying piece by piece is going to save me almost $4,000. So once I get my unit, I'm buying um, the compressors separate. And I'm buying all the lines separate. My mechanic going to put it in. It's going to run me about two grand, But I saved $4,000. Because when, when I went to the dealership, they told me six, six, seven thousand. I was like, okay, thank you for the info. <laughs> so... But now she's not here. If I get hot, I can go inside the restaurant because I'm cool with all the managers. And that's another good tip, guys. Know who is in charge of the restaurant at the time that you go in there. I met all. I know the night here. I know Molly. Um, who we got? We got Molly. We got um, Rod. We got. Uh, What's his name? Huey. Dewey. We got Dewey. And we got James, the night supervisor here, manager here. You know, at the other place, we got Tim, Mike, and Alan. And it's good to know these guys, guys. So when they see you, you know, I make it personal and whatnot. What's up, Robbie? I need an order. So that's Robbie, the manager there, nighttime manager. I mean, daytime manager. So... What I do, guys, I introduce myself to the managers and stuff as I come through and pick up my orders because it's important that you get a good relationship. I said, give me an order, man. Yeah. There's too many people up here. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Not like here, though. Everybody love y'all. That's why I'm here now. <laughs> See? And that's just communication, man. I take an opportunity to make sure that I talk to the manager. And they keep me updated, you know. Yesterday they had 32 orders that came out of here. Because I, I keep record every day. So Friday at Fowler we had 32 orders from for um DoorDash here. That's that's good stats, man. That's good stats. You know what I mean? So Friday, up there we had 22. So, I mean, take for granted that this is in a huge zone. And it's still part of that zone, but it's just part, it's, it's divided a little bit. But just imagine, man, if you, how I used to get that $800, man. I used to be here and get like 16 of those orders. You know what I mean? Uh oh, that's an order. That thing thump. All right, we're going to Tropical Smoothie right up the street. Like M told my man, you got to do, you got to do your research, man. Guys, I hate one thing. I hate is doing research. But what I found out about this business, man, if you do your research and it's on point, and you go back and refer to the days like Friday, in fact, like next Friday, I know that this is where I need to be at. Instead of being over there. They had 32 orders that came out of here. And that's just day shift. That's not night. I, I get my night shift information. And I got the managers working for me. I got the managers telling me how many orders they get. Because I, I asked them could they track it for me. Because I need that data. That data, data, whatever the hell you want to call it. But I need that. <laughs> tropical food. I mean, tropical smoothie on Saturday. Uh, they, uh, last Saturday they did 16 orders. So I'm right between two places that's real busy. And that's how you got to do it, guys. 
it's no secret to my madness. It's just about getting that information, that research, and um, getting the people to work for you. And how you get the people to work for you, man, you just be nice, man. Talk. Don't over talk. Sometimes you can make people dislike you because you over talk. But you know, you got to find a way, man. And believe it or not, guys, I'm, I'm a shy person. But I, I found a way to come through my shyness. If you go watch my first video, you'll see that I was terrified. But guys, you got to work through that. You got to work through that. Hey, honey. Yeah, I'm, at, I'm going to Tropical Smoothie. I can do that for you. Alright. Love you too. Love you. Huh? Yeah. That's right, baby. <laughs> yeah. I'm going to call as soon as I get off the phone with you. All right, love you. Bye-bye. All right, guys, we here. You see, that was a short ride. That was a short ride, and it's for $6, so that means it's, it's only around the corner. Why is my app acting up? Come on. All right, let me go get this order. I don't have to pay for it. I'll see you in a minute. Hey guys, I'm going back to the bowling alley. If you didn't watch the video I put out, I had this customer call herself Sunshine, and that's who it's for. Ask for Sunshine. And trust me, guy, it was a thunderstorm. Did she know? God, if you're going to call yourself Sunshine, you got to change that. Man, everybody know who Sunshine is, right? I'm pretty sure everybody knows who Sunshine is, right? So I'm thinking, I was like, dang, this girl must be banging if she's Sunshine. And you know, I was wrong. I don't know why she called herself Sunshine. But if you ain't never watched Harlem Nights, you go watch Harlem Nights. Sunshine make you call home and tell your wife you ain't never coming back. My man said kiss the wife and kids because I ain't never coming back. Cheryl is over with. I think her name was Cheryl. <laughs> you with a woman and one time she make you call home and tell your wife and kids you ain't never coming back? Woo that's sunshine, God. But this is a thunderstorm. I guarantee you they be back. But she nice peep though. You know I had to say something to her. I said, Sunshine, really? She's like, what? I was like, oh my God. Girl, you just messed up the whole daggone movie. We're gonna see. I hope she come outside so y'all can see her. Not joning on nobody. I'm just saying. You can't call yourself Queen B and look like a queen duck, you know what I mean? Because when you say Queen B, everybody thinking about Beyonce. You know what I mean? You put yourself in that same area code. Hope I get my sister. I know she better stop playing. Yeah, I'm going to see sunshine at the AMF bowling alley. It's thunderstorm, tropical wind. That's what she should have named herself. Only because of the movie, guys. I'm saying these things. I delivered to her before. This time she put the AMF bowling alley. She had me lost.
Yes, sir. Guys, this is going to be a part two today, guys. I'm sorry. I'm dropping it like it's hot today. It's going to be a part two, that's for sure. But I love talking to you guys, man. DoorDash is boring. You know what I mean? i never seen an app that don't have no new features, no new uploads, and no new nothing. No new anything that I can talk to you about when it comes to DoorDash. You know what I mean? MG, how you doing, love? Y'all don't see no comment from MG because she's still catching up. She probably on like the third video I dropped. <laughs> Her Miss Weeks, you know, they look busy. But they do get, they do catch up. You'll see a hello, she'll say hello, um, DoorDash family, how y'all doing? Still catching up, you know? MG still on last month videos, guys. No, I'm just messing with you, MG. You know I love you. <laughs> I see her name, I get excited. I be like, oh shoot, I dropped that video four days ago. <laughs> MG, you keep me cracking up, girl. Uh, we had the bowling alley that I sucked at last night. No, I did good. I did good. Sunshine outside? Yeah, she outside. Oh, my God. Y'all might get a chance to see sunshine. I'm going to turn this around a little bit. Good morning. Uh, you waiting on this order, sunshine? How you doing today? Good, how are you? Uh, I can't complain, girl. The time you sent me up here, you made me think of the movie. <laughs> Hold on. You late today? You ain't getting in there yet? Or you just came out? I just um, got here, actually. Oh, yeah? Yeah. You a boss. You, you get your food before you even start. <laughs> All right, girl. Thank you. I'll see you the next time. All right. Oh. That's sunshine. Nothing like the movie. But she cool. She cool, peeps. She just need to change her damn nickname. I don't know. I don't know. She could make somebody leave home. She could. Can't judge the book by a couple. I found that out. That's for sure, guys. Can't, check. Can't judge a book by a cup. She might have made somebody leave home and she said, you know what, I'm going to name myself Sunshine because I did the exact same thing. Come find out that boy ain't have a home. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm not talking about nobody, guys. I'm just being funny. That's it. I believe beauty is in the inside. It's in the hands of the beholder. We call the white shit she can We're going back to Chick-fil-A, guys. See you in a minute. All right, guys. We got another order. Chick-fil-A boost be down $10. I'm gone. You gotta tell me twice, guys. It's gonna be a part two. Yeah, I'm just sitting here, um, just going through some things. Uh, talking to the wifey, so you know. I have to put y'all on pause, guys. We're gonna get that money. Guys, coffee's so good, I want a free hash brown. Hot thing. <laughs> Yes, sir, guys. We're getting it today. Who's got my break? Oh. MG, I need you to watch this video before October the 1st, girl. My birthday is October the 1st. You can't be too far behind. <laughs> I'm just messing, MG. I'm just messing. 
guys, I, when I tell you guys, I, I truly, guys, from the bottom of my heart, guys, I love each and one, each and every one of you guys. Because some point in time, y'all commented on something that either touched me or made me laugh. And I appreciate you guys. That interaction that we have, guys, straight up family. That's what I love about you guys, man. I told you Trini watched the videos in depth, guys. Hey, Trini, you know what, man? You'd be a good, you'd be a good reaction video type dude, man. You should start your own channel, man. Because you hear what people don't hear. You could break down a video like Eminem and them. You should do reaction videos, Trini. I'm telling you, man. You will blow up, man. Because you, you don't miss much. You got a good ear. That's what I'm trying to say, Trini. You got a good ear, man. Some of the stuff you point out in my videos, man, it just goes right over the head of other people. And I say some of them things and see if you catch it, and you catch it every time, man. I love you for that, man. I love you for that. All right, guys. I'm about to end this video and start another because that's how I feel today. Wifey gone all day, man. Wifey gone all day. And if you know, if you've been keeping record, it's a surprise at the end of this video. Talk to you later, guys. I love y'all. This is your boy, Kingfish, a.k.a. Big Al, coming at you with another psych. I'm just kidding. I'm out, guys. If you're dashing, keep dashing. If you're grubbing, keep grubbing. If you're not dashing, you're not grubbing, you better get yourself some daggone dashing grub, man. MGK, office still stand. I got a red bag and a shirt player. What is you? Extra um, small or you, 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 you zero? Which one? Holler at your boy. Peace.